I'm going to show you a simple yet effective art project for anyone studying the Egyptians. Each pupil will need something to colour in with. Scissors, paper, masking tape, glue and a large piece of paper or a sketchbook. This step is optional but does give a really good finish. Using the masking tape, create a border around the sheet of paper or sketchbook. Draw a horizontal line across your paper approximately a third of the way up. This forms your horizon. We're then going to colour everything below this line in a brown or gold for the sand. The great thing about using pastels is that you can blend them to make a lovely texture. We'll use these more later. We're going to move on now to colouring the sky. But to create a really crisp horizon, I'm going to apply another piece of masking tape to stop any colour going onto the sand. Colouring in the sky is a perfect opportunity to introduce some blending. I've gone with a range of blues, starting with lightest at the bottom and getting progressively darker. Use your finger to blend the colours together to create a gentle gradient from light to dark. You can do the same with paints or pencils to get the same effect. Once you're happy with your sky, remove the masking tape to reveal the crisp horizon line. It's now time to create the pyramids. Do this by cutting three different sized triangles from a piece of coloured paper. To make symmetrical triangles, fold the paper in half and then cut out half a triangle. When open, this will make a perfectly symmetrical pyramid. I'm using orange paper, but you could use white paper and simply colour it in. Glue the pyramids onto your picture. Put the smallest pyramid on first to make it look like it's in the background, with the largest pyramid at the front to make it look like it's in the foreground. Use your scissors to cut a crescent shape from your white piece of paper. You could go with the moon at any stage of its cycle, but the crescent looks really pretty. Use glue to stick this onto your night sky. Now the exciting bit. Carefully remove the masking tape from the border of your picture to reveal a nice crisp line. I hope you enjoyed this project and if you are looking for any more art photopic ideas, check out my channel.